1974 R75-6 is here for a front brake problem. Brake is dragging. Let's uh, check the caliper adjustment first. So you're going to remove that bolt. adjust by turning this cam. Go ahead. Oh, that's still pretty draggy. It's better than it was, but it's still dragging quite a bit. In this case, we're going to remove the fuel tank and check the fluid level. If the fluid level is too high, it doesn't allow the fluid to expand. Um, as the fluid gets hot, it just continues to put pressure on the caliper. I don't believe that's the problem with this. I think there's something wrong in the caliper. But for right now, we need to rule out the, uh, the master cylinder as being a problem. With the fuel tank removed, you can inspect the brake fluid level and the cable adjustment. For those not that familiar with older BMWs, this front brake system is kind of goofy. It's cable operated from the handlebar to the front master cylinder and then hydraulic from the front master cylinder to the front brake caliper. <laughs> the R90S would have two discs. The R90 slash 6, all the rest of the slash 6s would have a single disc. Um, but anyway, so it kind of leaves a vague feeling to the front brake because of cable stretch. Um, but anyway, that's not our issue here. What we are looking at is an overly tight cable due to improper adjustment. That's not the case here. That is good. Our fluid level is right here. That is good. We do have the front brake light switch. One wire is starting to, one connector is pulling off the spade. We'll fix that. So that brings us to the caliper again. And that means that something is hanging up within the caliper. And we're going to need to take that apart and see what that problem is. The proper way to adjust these, take the plug out, turn, turn that bolt left and right until the wheel turns the easiest, the least resistance. You're going to grab the front brake. Now when I started this, I could only pull the brake to here. Grab the front brake hard. Squeeze that fucking thing. Squeeze it like you want to break the cable. Hold that fucking thing in. Now, let it go. Now we have just the minor little bit of drag that's normal for a disc. So again, you're going to go up here, squeeze it as hard as you can and put the plug back in. 
you just snug it down. Let go of the lever. Give it a spin again. A few spins. You want to make sure it's still the same as it was before. Right now we have a little bit more resistance than we did previously. So we're going to repeat that process until we get it to where it's the same as we had it earlier. Our caliper cam bolt is adjusted properly. I have this tape mark here to show this caliper, oh, geez, this disc is bad. Every time we're dragging from here to here. This needs a disc. This appears to be an old one. It's rusty. And certainly when this came, it was dragging. So it's ended up not being usable at this point. So it needs to be replaced. And it's kind of rusty and ratty looking anyway. So the rest of this bike is in beautiful condition looks great won't hurt to get rid of that and Sean has just returned from his test ride you get out of that wheel this time That's a little fluid. Give that a spin, see what we get. Nice. Same thing as before. We're done. It's only dragging the same spot, no yep. worse. That's awesome. That's awesome. So our clutch has no free play. Not much. We will, uh, I'll adjust that out here once the exhaust cools down. And uh, if the customer is going to replace the disc himself and take care of the screws for the seat trim, they're biting into the frame, and take care of the Speedo transmission vent issue, uh, we'll be good.